Hello everyone, this is Dave the Sunny Panda and welcome back to my playthrough of this is uh, this war of mine, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm playing this is the police as well and, and both of this, this confuses me. Um, so what happened where we stopped off last time was we returned from our uh, night. Uh, we returned from our scavenge and it was a successful scavenge. We got back lots of parts, lots of components, lots of uh, wood and water. So let's continue. Uh, so let's check. Marco is hungry, slightly wounded and tired. Um, Bruno is hungry, slightly sick. He's recovering because he's asleep. Pavel is uh, tired, hungry and tired. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is make another bed. Oh, I didn't want Bruno to get up. He can continue sleeping. Um, uh, Pavel, let's uh, let's upgrade our metal workshop and um, Marco come back come down here. Let's try to make a We probably should be able to make some wood uh, Some wood I mean by uh, some uh, uh, another bed uh, To we have no bandages, right? But we need to make him sleep Marco needs to sleep um, No, we can't make a bed. We need six components for that we have only two so today is going to be uh, okay Bruno get up we need to get up we need Marco to sleep first um, because he needs to go out scavenging again um, everyone is hungry uh, Marco is slightly wounded he's recovering from his sleep and he's tired Bruno slept so he isn't tired but he's slightly sick um, and Pavel was on guard duty so he's tired but that's fine. Uh, so we can make a saw blade. We can use it to cut through metal bars and chains to get otherwise inaccessible places. We can make a crowbar, uh, which we already made. We can make a hatchet. Uh, we can use it to chop furniture or people. <laughs> we need five weapon parts for that though. Okay. We can make a lock pick. We can make a shovel. Uh, we can make a knife, a pistol, a shotgun, and a helmet. So. Training our workshop really helped us, but we can't make anything else because we are out of um, components. We need more components, but we can we can start uh, searching um, within our base for things we didn't search yesterday. So get up here, Bruno. Let's start clearing that rubble out. We have two more closets that we can check in our base. Hopefully, we. I think this is the trading guy. I forgot his name. At the first time he appeared, I was... Uh, oh, ooh. we found some meds and we found a lockpick and we found two books. That's good. The first time um, I came across this fine gentleman here, I was scared that he would shoot me outright. I was very scared to open the door. But he is Franco, uh, a person who trades with us. So we could probably take some components from him, of him today. Uh, we need... Uh, we need. If we can get a bed, that's good. But we also have a lot of components uh, uh, ourselves uh, back at uh, the house which we went out scavenging last night. So I'm not sure if it's uh, worth trading with him right away. Um, so we are going to tell him bye bye. And uh, let's close the door. Time to go. I'll try to visit you again. Okay. Bye bye. Um, is there any place we can search within our base except this area here? No, I think we have um, searched for everything. All right, Pavel can go and have a sit because he's tired. Once um, Marco finishes sleeping, I'll send Pavel to sleep so that he gets some rest. And once we have two beds, that shouldn't be a problem. The person in, on guard duty and the person who had gone out um, scavenging should both be able to get rest in the morning. So it isn't solving his tired... Uh, uh, he isn't getting any rest from sitting there. Uh, nothing in their bios yet. Okay. Uh, no one's saying anything new. Alright. Um, let's see what we get out of here. Oh, we got a bandage. Used to dress wounds. We got herbs, we got water, and we got uh, more books. So what we can do is... Um, have Marco uh, he's just slightly wounded though is it worth uh, using a bandage on slightly wounded people because uh, to be honest um, he could just uh, he could just recover from sleeping 
Uh, if you have an extra bandage, maybe we can do that. Um, I don't know if it's worth just bandaging him up now. Oh well. Um, Marco is okay. He's finished sleeping. Let's uh, get Pavel on bed. Um, he's not tired anymore. Marco isn't tired anymore. Should we patch him up though? I mean, um, we could get some herbal meds and have Bruno take the herbal meds. It's uh, it's not going to hurt us that much. But using a bandaid so early on, I feel it's going to it's going to affect us in the long run if someone gets actually seriously injured. Uh, slightly wounded, he can. It's probably going to recover on its own um, by just lots of rest. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, we need Pavel to uh, get his get the tired uh, thing off him. He should, he should stop feeling tired. But I think if we end our day here, Pavel will stop feeling tired. Uh, so let's do that. Yeah, he stopped feeling tired. Um, we're going to let Pavel be on guard. Marco is on scavenge, and Bruno is going to sleep in bed. Um, we can go back to the shelter cottage. Which we plan to, but we have a new area that is the garage. Before the war, you could have your car repaired there. It was a decent family business run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with us. Alternatively, we, alternatively, we might uh, find lots of useful parts there and maybe even some food. Caution is advised. Possible trade. Uh, then we have St. Mary's Church. St. Mary's Church is still a place of meetings for the local community. Priest Oleg is known for his charitable work and offering refuge to the poor. He might have something to give away or trade. The vestry behind the church is devastated and abandoned. We could find some useful materials there. And caution is advised because um, it's uh, occupied. But let's go back to our shelled cottage which we went last night. We don't want a crowbar this time so that we can carry back more materials. And crowbar is also a weapon. Uh, which can be used by our guard in case anybody tries to uh, loot us or attack us in the night, raid us. Uh, we'll take back these herbal meds uh, and we are going to uh, take all the components that we can carry. Um, that's, we have emptied the components here. Uh, let's take the weapon parts. Let's take the wood and uh, what should what else should we take? Uh, we can take the men or we can take one item of food. We have uh, we have food at our base, but I don't want to take excess food and uh, get trapped, like get st get it stolen later. But I'm I'm risking it. I'm uh, taking the food so that we can store it at our base. All right, that's it. This, oh wait 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 we can we have time we can start digging our way through here to see what's uh, back here um, because we have the night to ourselves and if we have already ventured out here why not have a look at what's in here makes sense right uh, and this is working out well for us we just need to take whatever we want from here Ooh, the music just went creepy for that slight second there scary all right Marco thinking again that he's forced to clear out the... Why is the music being so spooky? I'm getting scared. It's like once I clear this rubble, someone's just going to... No. I think we can progress somewhere else, right? From here? I, I don't know. We already have a backpack full for now, but yeah, let's let's have a look what this button does. I think it just it just takes us back to our base. But oh well. Um, approaching 11 p.m. and he's still digging his way through. We basically uh, emptied out this house from everything valuable, all everything stored here at the start. We call I'm calling that our storage because it's more convenient to grab things from there rather than run into the house every night you want something. 
we have some roll up cigarettes some quality roll up some fertilizer some parts some weapon parts which we need and uh, some electric parts so we can let this play here no worries um what does this do does this go into another area okay yeah i knew it it, it brings back marker it's silly that it could if it, it would be silly if we could go somewhere else from there um but it will also be nice in a way day three day three um that was a quick night of scavenging because um we we had planned it out every we had planned out everything. I found plenty of real fine stuff. What a night! We've been raided. Come on! I I put I put one guard on duty with a crowbar as a weapon. But uh, Marco had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Someone tried to rob rob us. They were just a couple of scavengers, so we managed to fend them off. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. Pavel was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We should put more people on guard. Damn it. Alright, um He's wounded now. Uh but we can make a I want to make another bed before we do anything. Uh it's going to take up some components, but it's fine. Um we need the ability for two people to sleep. Alright. And um get back to our workshop. Let's see what we can do. I don't think we can make a hatchet yet, because we need um we have three weapon parts, we need five, so we need two more. But we can make a saw blade. Is it worth it? We can make another crowbar which takes 10 materials. We can make a shovel which is um, 7 materials and 4 wood. Or we can make a knife. We, need, we do need some weapon. Um, Saw blade can be used as a weapon too, but we're using one weapon part for it. Uh, it can be useful if left back to defend our base. Um, a knife takes three weapon parts, two wood and five components. Uh, but it is a weapon, it's an actual weapon instead of an equipment. We'll see. We'll see by the end of uh, the night. Let's see what else we can make. Um, we can make uh, a stove, which we do need to start cooking food. Uh, so let's make a stove. And we'll place it um, in the kitchen. If we can. Yeah, let's place it in the kitchen. Um, once this bed is ready, uh, Bruno is slightly sick, but we can get him on now. On what is this herbal meds? Um, Pavel and uh, Marco is no longer slightly wounded, which is good. Uh, but Pavel is slightly wounded, which is bad because we need him on guard duty almost every night. Uh, so Pavel, you take a take a nap, uh, sleep sleep well, uh, and oh no, I don't want you to upgrade anything. You just sleep, uh, Marco. Get down here. We'll have Bruno go up to the kitchen because he's a good cook. We'll let him cook. And we will have Marco sleep because he was out all night scavenging. All right. Uh, we need to make three quantities of food, but we have just two, right? We have, oh, we have six. Okay, we can, we can do it. Uh, we need one fuel for each uh, bowl of food. So let's make three fuel out of three wood. I don't want to burn books. I don't want to burn components. We can, uh, we can do this. I think. Um, yeah, let's make the field because uh, we need food. At least, if not for today, for tomorrow, because people will need to eat. Otherwise, they'll start starving. Uh, and Bruno is a good cook, so he should be able to whip us up some nice nice meal um let's see let's make we can make three of them that's good let's make three counts of food so after cooking up that we have three more raw food materials left now i don't think uh, i'm going to get raided again tomorrow um so we should be safe with the food at our base we'll have everybody eat uh, tomorrow i think Food. I know, I know. I'm giving you the food. All right, let's uh, let's check the bios to see anything new. No, nothing new. 
nothing new nothing new and uh, nothing new all right um so what we could do if we don't have a hatchet yet but we need a weapon if you're going to any any mm, we could go to some place that's not dangerous like where we don't have a chance of outright dying mm. Let's see what else we can make. We need a radio to like get to know information about what's going on, but it's fine. Um, uh, workshop. What would be the best thing to make? We can't make a shovel because we don't have the wood for it. Oh, we can't make anything now because we lack the wood except a freaking saw blade. I mean, I don't think we will be going out with the saw plate for scavenging, not anytime soon, I think. But it is going to be very useful as a, a sort of fighting tool at at our base, at least. Once we take the crowbar. But the hatchet, hatchet's what we're aiming for. I am pretty confident we're not going to get raided again, so let's, let's just wing it this night. Um, Bruno is slightly sick, uh, Pavel is hungry and slightly wounded. And Marco is just hungry and tired, so they both should probably just rest up and be ready to uh, party during the night. And by party, I mean just normal business of being scared and half asleep. Uh, so Bruno will sleep in the bed. Um, Pavel is going to scavenge. What? No, Pavel is going to guard while Marco scavenges. And um, we have lots of materials here, but we don't have any weapon parts. Um, lots of uh, parts, some weapons, huge amount of materials. Uh, we could find some useful things here and the homeless shouldn't be um, a huge threat. So why not? Uh, why not? Let's, uh, let's head out to a new zone today, tonight, because we need to, we need to get uh, more, more useful things. It was a ruin before the war. Now half the city looks like this. Uh -huh. Homeless shouldn't be a threat, right? Like, I don't think they should be a threat. Okay, so we have lots of things here. That's good. We'll we'll keep coming back here because uh, it's the closest to our base uh, to to our exit, rather. There's something down. Let's go down first. I just hope we don't run into any. What's this? Oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, so we can hide in there if we. Holy shit, that's a lot. All right. I shouldn't run. I shouldn't run. I'll be attracting people. Uh, let's offload everything here. We've got lots of components which we need. We really need lots of components and we need lots of wood as well. We ran out of components in our uh, uh, in the abandoned cottage, the shelled cottage. Uh, the music is eerie. I don't like it. Um, let's go back down there, but we are not going to run. Um, let's search this. There's a ladder here. No one's here though. Let's grab it all. Uh, and let's... Oh, no, I don't... What if there's someone there? Should we try to wing it? Yeah, let's wing it. I don't think there's anybody there from the vision I got. Okay, so we can um, loot what's here in this pile of rubble. Have a look at this room. Grab all. Have a look what's here. The homeless don't seem to be... There doesn't seem to be anyone here by the looks of it. There could be on the... Oh, there is someone here. What? I am blind. There's someone sitting right by the campfire here. Uh, so we'll avoid going into that room for now. Um, there was no one here. We didn't uh, quite open it up though. Yeah, okay, get here. Um, 
I am so scared. But if we have a lot of the night left, it would be a waste to just hurry back home now. So we'll spend some time scavenging. All right, uh, you get back here. Let's offload our contents into our storage space here. And we'll continue to see further up what we can find. We already have a really good haul uh, because we have lots of components, lots of wood. So that is absolutely awesome. Um, if we could get some weapon parts, that would be even better. But I'm not going to be too greedy. Let's get on top here. And uh, hopefully we don't uh, run into anyone. And I don't think they're going to be scary to deal with. I don't think they're going to outright attack us. Um, so we can probably... can probably be a little confident that we won't get killed while scavenging here there's a there's a note of some sort the letter says dearest Marsha dearest Masha I found shelter among the homeless I am no longer a teacher or an artist I am one of them now there is not much food so some of my friends already left us but do not be worried I too will seek more appropriate refuge as soon as I, as I finished my painting all right um, there's possibly just one person here. This is an open area though, so it's like we have visibility. Um, let's check on top. I don't see anyone there. There's a place to hide. Oh, this is where the chainsaw helps, right? Is that a person there? It is, but a dead person. Holy shit. Uh, or is that just a homeless who is sleeping? No, that has got to be a dead person. I don't think I can break through this though. Yeah, this is great. We have a saw blade, but we left it as a protection. We can probably get up from somewhere, but okay. all right. We had a successful look. Let's run back here because I'm scared. We are pushing our luck here. Um, let's uh, check our storage. Check the storage, damn it. Um, okay, what are we carrying? We don't need... Do we need parts? Okay, let's keep the parts. Let's drop the sugar. Let's drop the water. Let's drop the electrics. Let's keep the wood and let's fill up the components. Uh, we are all out of wood because we use it as fuel too. So let's... Uh, Do we need components? We do need components too, right? Apart from, um, no, sorry, parts, apart from components. So, um, I don't know if I'll be taking, doing a mistake not taking back uh, components, but it's all right. That's what we are going with tonight. And let's go back uh, home. We've got a good haul. We've really got a good haul. So, I'm confident. Um, hopefully nothing's uh, too bad back at our base. Uh, how we hope we didn't get raided, we didn't get um, we didn't get killed. <laughs> um, I found plenty of real fine, really fine stuff. What a night! Yes, what a night indeed, Marco. The night was calm. Good. Marco had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Uh, fourteen, um, uh, fourteen wood and. 28 components all right i'm going to put an end to this video here uh, i'll see you guys next time hope you enjoyed leave me a comment with uh, any input you have for me i would love to hear from you bye bye and see you next time